So chapter one, matter, measurement, and problem solving. Okay, so here's a question. What do you think is the most important idea in all of human knowledge? I don't expect you to have a quick answer for that. But think about it for a second. The most important idea. We could argue about that, huh? So if we limit ourselves to scientific answers, um, it would probably be this. The properties of matter are determined by the properties of molecules and atoms. So what that means is that the qualities of this bench top, it's hard, it's shiny, it's black, those properties come from the properties of the individual atoms and molecules that make up this bench top. Okay? When we understand matter at this particulate level, the molecular level, it gives us control over that matter. Because if we want to make a plastic that has a different, um, different density or a different color or whatever, we can do that by altering the molecules that are, are in it. So this is the first section, atoms and molecules. We need to understand what atoms and molecules are. Atoms are the submicroscopic particles that constitute the fundamental building blocks of ordinary matter. I think of, of atoms as being a lot like Lego bricks. So if you've ever built with Lego bricks, those are little bricks and they're different shapes and sizes. And those are the pieces that you use to construct things out of Legos. Atoms are the smallest pieces of matter and they combine to make up all the different types of matter. So a molecule is just two or more atoms that are stuck together and they form a unit. They, they have a specific geometrical arrangement. As an example here we have an illustration of a water molecule. Water molecule is composed of three atoms. We've got one oxygen atom, two hydrogen atoms, and they are stuck together in that particular way. And the properties of that water molecule are responsible for the properties of water as a whole. If we make a little change in the molecule, it can make a very big difference in the, the properties of the substance. So here's, um, here's water, and here's hydrogen peroxide. So the difference here is this one has two oxygen atoms and two hydrogens, and this one has one oxygen and two hydrogens. Small difference, but the properties are very different. You need to drink water to stay alive, but if you drink hydrogen peroxide, it would kill you. There's even a joke about that. Two guys walk into the bar, and the first one says, I'll have a glass of H2O, and the next guy says, I'll have H2O too, and he drinks it and dies. Yeah. I try. He got it. Yay, somebody got it. So if we want to understand the matter, the substances around us, um, we need to understand what those small particles are and what they're doing. So chemistry can be defined as the science that seeks to understand the behavior of matter by studying the behavior of atoms and molecules. We're, we're zooming in and looking at the very, very small. These um, pictures here give an illustration of the differences. Um, here we have carbon in two different forms. Both of these substances, graphite and diamonds, are made solely of carbon atoms. But how the carbon atoms are connected changes the properties significantly. This diamond is, is clear like glass and it's shiny and hard and the graphite is black and slippery and soft. Same atoms put together differently. Huge effect on the properties.